Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. As we've mentioned countless times, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let us know that the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would break into different groups and sects. Wallah mustan. And no one is pleased with the breaking and divisions of the Muslims. Just think how much stronger we would be if we were one hand. If we're following the Sunnah and we're following what Allah has decreed and ordered us to follow, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, bi jami'an wa la Hold all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. Do not divide. And as the Mufassirin explain, the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Quran and the Sunnah. The rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Sabilu Mu'mineen, the Sirat al Mustaqim, the way of the believers and the path of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If tarakat al Yahud ala ithna wa sabi'in firqa, wa if tarakat al Nasara ala ithna tain wa sabi'in firqa, wa sa taftariku hadahi umma la thalatha wa sabi'in firqa. كلها في النار الواحدة كلنا من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على مثلي وما كان عليه وصحابي اليوم The Prophet ﷺ said the Jews would break into 71 sects my, the, the Christians 72 sects and my nation into 73 sects all of them in the hellfire except one and then the companions رضي الله تعالى عنهم اجمعين they said and who are they يا رسول الله he said those who are upon what I'm upon and my companions, letting us know the wujub, the obligation that uh, to follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu sunnah and to follow the way of his companions, and the companions did not divide in Aqidah. They were of Aqidah Wahid. Milla Wahid. Milla Wahid. They were of one creed. They are of one religion. They differed in, in matters of fiqh. They had issues where there was ijtihad but as far as their creed their minhaj their methodology of dawah Allah and, 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 and the correct aqidah it was one there wasn't some ash ashiris amongst the sahaba and there weren't some tabliki or, or, or uh, um, uh, takfiris amongst the sahaba there weren't qadris amongst the sahaba those people who there wasn't mu'tazila um, amongst the sahaba and there weren't Sufis amongst the Sahaba. But they were of one creed. One minhaj. And regarding this, I wanted to mention the importance of understanding the nasus of the Quran and the Sunnah in accordance with the madhab of the Salaf. And with a, in accordance with what the Sahaba, what they were upon. Because this is where we have our differences and our problems. This is where Ahla Dalal and Ahla Bid'a and Ahla Ahwa where they go away from Ahlul Sunnah. Ahlul Sunnah is on the right, Ashab Yameen, was Ashab Bid'a, was Andaka, was Khilaf, is on Ashab Yasar. They're, they, they're, they're on the left, and Ahlul Sunnah is on the right. Ahlul Sunnah has a madhab and a minhaj, which is restricted by the Quran and the Sunnah and the way of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and Ajma'een. Ahl Bid'ah, they have their own way of understanding the Nasus. Now let's look at what the Ta'wil, what, what the uh, explanation is uh, regarding this Hadith, the Hadith we mentioned about the, the, um, the nation breaking into different groups and sects. Here's what one of the great Hanafi scholars said. Yuqulu ibn Abi Izza, ibn Abi Izza al-Hanafi, rahimahullah ta'ala, he explained in his explanation of Aqidat al-Tahawiyyah. He said, وَحَلْ خَرَجَتَ الْخَوَارِجِ وَاَعْتَزِلَتَ الْمُعْتَزِلَةِ وَرَفَذَتَ الْرَوَافِذِ 
وافتركت الأمة على ثلاث وسبعين فرقة إلا بتأويل الفاسد. A beautiful, beautiful, simple عبارة, simple statement. He said, did the Khawarij make Khuruj make uh, rebel? And did the Mu'tazila separate themselves with Ittizal uh, from the from the other uh, from Ahl Sunnah? And did the Ruafid refuse and go astray by refusing to accept Abu Bakr and Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in is the khalifa and as being uh, uh, people of, of of righteousness and being the hem, uh, the carriers of this religion the the, the that they refused this now did they do this and did the Ummah break into 73 sects except the reason being that they did all of this, that all these groups went astray, was Ta'wil Fasid. Was that they misinterpreted the Nasus, the Quran and the Sunnah to fit their desires. Instead of what? Instead of in conjunction, in accordance with the Salaf of this Ummah. was how the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, how they... Uh, uh, accepted the religion and how they propagated the religion, how they preserved the religion. When we go against the Sahaba with their understanding, their manners, their aqidah, their minhaj, all of those uh, various sciences which they preserved, when we go against them and we go against the madhab of Ahl Sunnah, we only go to dalal, we only go to misguidance. And this is what the Prophet Sallallahu told us. Because he, he let us know, the Prophet Sallallahu drew a, a line in the sand. Similar to this. You might not be able to see it. He drew a line in the sand. And he said, Hadha Sabil, Hadha Sabil Allah. You know, that, that is the, the, the straight path. The, straight, the path of Allah. Then he drew one on the right. And he drew one on the left. And he said, Hadha Sabil هذا uh, السبول على كل راس في دعات على أبواب جهنم وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he drew a line on the right and a line on the left and he said those are the various paths and that at every end of those paths each one of those paths is a shaitan calling the people to the fire. Letting us know we have to follow the straight path. There's no room for ta'wil facet. And I promise you and in fact, I swear by Allah that it's by the path of following the scholars. The scholars of Ahl Sunnah. Not just any scholars. I don't care what they memorize. I don't care what Sufi Sheikh so-and-so has memorized of, of the Kutub Sitta. I don't care how fascinating his language is. I don't care what Takfiri so-and-so knows. Because most of it is, is nothing compared to what Ahl Sunnah knows. In knowledge and in hith. But by following the path of those scholars who adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Sabil of the Salaf, they mention the Salaf. And they always refer back to the Salaf and you see that what they're propagating is in accordance with the Salaf of this Ummah. Regardless of whether they say they're Salafi or not, but the proof will be in the pudding by what they're practicing and what they call to. If you see that from them, then take knowledge from them. Because they will help you on, to stay on that Sirat al-Mustaqeem. 
that straight path, which is a straight path to Jannah. And may Allah bless us to be on the path of Jannah and the path in the Sabil of Mu'mineen. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many sins and our many mukhalifat and minhaj and our many mistakes. May Allah rectify our condition and rectify the du'at of Ahl Sunnah and the Talibat al Ilm of Ahl Sunnah and the general Muslims of Ahl Sunnah. And may Allah unite our hearts and our hands as one Ummah. Based on Kitab Allah, wa sunnatul Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.